Edition Savage title. Do I still? What's up, what's up, what's up everybody man? Uh, it's your boy Nate Dubois and I'm back again with another video on the grind. So today guys, I'm gonna be making a video on how to check cars man. When you wanna buy cars at the auction, what you need to look for, what you, you know, what you what you wanna pay attention to and uh, minimize your losses in this business man. So guys, I'm gonna be walking you around this car and uh, walking you around what I look for and you know, my, how I set my prices and stuff. So guys, you know, stay tuned. This video is gonna be very, very fun and informative, man. I used to work at a car auction in Manhattan. So all of this stuff, I've learned it. You know, I'm a professional at checking cars because that's what I used to do as a job when I was working nine to five. So guys, I'm gonna be helping you guys and show you guys, try to do my best to show you guys in the video what I look for in these cars man so stay tuned let's get it man the grind doesn't stop let's get it first of all man uh what you want to do is want to walk around the car man you want to walk around the car you know this car has hell damage it has hell damage you want to walk around the car look at the car that you buying pay attention to the body pay attention you know pay attention to the tires like this tire is not bad you know you're selling the car a customer sees this tire is not that bad you know, pay attention to all that stuff to see how much you're gonna put in the car. You know, pay attention. This one is bad, but it's not as bad, you know, as other ones that is bored, really bored. So they said this car has a hell damage. It's hard to spot a hell damage in a car like this when there's a lot of dirt in it. But if you have good eyes, if you have very good eyes, you can spot hell damage. Like you guys can see, there's a hell damage right there, right by the fender. You know, I can see little, little hell damage because you can see it in the hood too. If you have good eyes, you can even see it through this video. But, so, you know, when I walk around, as I look at the car that I'm buying, make sure I'm not missing any little dents that I didn't know about. Uh, so, I go on the inside, I check the inside, check the interior. The AC works very good. Uh, you know, the AC works very, very good. The inside is not bad, man. You can clean this by yourself and uh, get it cleaned up. A customer will buy this, man. It's not bad. So what else I do I check? When I'm buying cars, man, I try to open the trunk. Let's get the trunk. So when I open the trunk, okay, this is this sign means something was wrong in the front. You know, it might was probably something was wrong in the front because this comes from the front. So I'm going to try to check uh, the... the uh, spare tire i like to check that man i mean uh, i think yeah it has spare tire it doesn't really matter about the spare tire man because you're buying a used car most people care most people don't care but i like to check it you know if it comes with it it's a plus if it doesn't come with it it doesn't matter man if it's a good car i'm gonna buy it but uh let's move on to the car man you're buying a used car you're not buying a brand new car so uh i sit on the inside don't don't, don't forget to check the radio sometimes the radio doesn't work sometimes it works so this radio works. Okay guys, okay guys, uh, enough for the fun. The radio works on this car, right? So what else are we gonna be checking? We're gonna be checking a lot of stuff today, guys. So after I finish with the radio, I uh, try to look at the dashboard. If you can look at the dashboard, there's no engine sign, there's no uh, check engine, there's no nothing on it. So that's a good sign, you know. So what I try to do, next thing I try to do is put the car on reverse. So this is how I check the transmission. So when I put it on reverse, what I can notice on this car that it hit, I can hear the reverse hitting too hard, like, you know. I put it on drive. I put it on drive, put it on reverse again, okay. The transmission, I can tell the transmission. Sometimes it's easy to spot transmission, sometimes it's hard to spot transmission. But this Waze is one of the best ways to spot transmission. Because these cars, you can't drive it around the auction to really know if it has a transmission problem. So you have to do your best. You have to do your best, guys. You know, you have to try to do your best. Uh, this is a plus two. Uh, you know, you have to put out this little stuff that is nice in the car in the description when you're selling it too. So uh, what I'm gonna try to do is move forward a little bit. I move forward just a little bit. Okay, move forward a little bit. Just a little bit. Move forward a little bit. 
I go back a little bit. I move forward a little bit. I'm just, I'm testing out the brake at the same time, you know. I can tell the, the brake, if you can hear, like, it's like a pump, like, you know, that means uh, it needs a uh, brake force. But, so, uh, I'm, I'm checking out this little thing. So, what, what else do you need to do? You need to rev up the car a little bit, not too high, just. Do you hear that sound? Do you guys hear that sound? I don't know what that sound is. Uh, that means I have to make a video and show it to a mechanic or show it to my mechanic and know, okay, what is this? What is this noise? You know, do you have an idea? Do you know have an idea how much it's gonna cost to fix this noise? That's when you know how much you're gonna buy a car. So let me try it again. So I hear it is like, like make, it makes like a, it makes like, I don't know, it's like a, it makes it like a weird noise. But the AC works really good. The radio works. So let's go on um, back and look at the engine real quick. So let me turn off the car. So I turn off the car to check the engine. Because it's going to be really hot. So yeah guys, this is the engine right here. Uh, this is a Chevy engine. The AC works really good. So what I'm gonna first thing do is check the oil, man. Let's check the oil. You guys can see the oil is very, is really bad. It's black. Okay, look at that. Look at how black it is. It's really black. But you can change the oil. That's not a, you know, a big deal. This is a used car, man. It, it, everything is a Rix. Uh, I have to learn how to take Rix, man. But uh, we check the oil, uh, let me see if they can have a transmission fluid on it. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I buy cars, right? And I check the oil, it doesn't have any oil and the car drives good. So I go back home and put oil on it, you know, or change the oil on it. So most of those things you have to be checking out, man. Because, you know, one thing about car business is when, uh, let me keep this secret. When somebody checks out your car, right? When somebody checks out the car that you're selling and they like the car, it drives good. You're gonna sell the car, you know, they're gonna sell the car, they're gonna buy the car, it doesn't matter. You know, that's why sometimes I put my prices high because I take my time to look into these cars. So if I sell the car for that much price, I know that this is how much I'm gonna be making for it. So yeah guys. So let's 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 go back, man. Let's go back to this stuff that I'm checking. So right. I've checked the, let me let me double check the engine again. So I've checked the oil. So what else do you have to check? You have to check the, uh, I'm looking for the, uh, what is this? The radiator, uh, forgot what it's called, man, but I'm looking for the coolant. Yes, the coolant. So I don't know if this is the, this is not the coolant. This is a very small car, man. Everything is, you know, compacted. So it's hard to like see what you're actually looking for but you have to just try your best and you know try to spot as many problems as you can you know that's one you get good at doing this the more you do it the better you get at it you know it's just an experience don't be hard on yourself when you buy messed up cars because it's, it's gonna happen everybody deals with it it's gonna happen but yeah guys i didn't see anything i, I, didn't, I didn't see what i was looking for i'm looking for it everywhere so so I didn't see what I was looking for. I'm, I keep looking for it. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, you know, check and check the black fruit. I can see the, I can see it through this. If you can, you know, when you have good eyes, you can see some of those. I can see a host right there. I don't know if that host. You see, it's, do you see? Do you guys? I don't know if you guys can see. There's a, the see this right here. There's something right there. I feel like it's missing a host. I don't know if that's why it's making all that noise when it's making on the engine, but. Uh, I don't know, but you know, you see some of the things. Okay, we have checked this out. So, guys, uh, I'm gonna go head to the next car and uh, check it out. I'm probably gonna show you guys that one real quick. But uh, this, this is what you guys need to understand, man. You have to pay attention to what you're buying. You have to pay attention, you know, to what you're buying, man. You have to put time into what you want to do, bro. You have to take your time. When you rush things, you're gonna fail. When you rush 
things, trying to do everything fast, 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 trying to make fast money, trying to do, you're gonna definitely fail, man. You have to understand, man, to build a solid business takes time. So you have to understand that and try to start putting time into your business that you're building into. It don't matter what business you're doing. You need to put time into it, man. But let's get it, man. I'm gonna catch you guys up on the next video, man. Let's get it. Yeah, guys, uh, this is the second car right here. This is a Ford Fusion right here, man. Ford Fusion Savage Title. Do I still buy Savage Title? Heck yeah, I still buy Savage Title. Let me explain something to you, right? In this business, man, you have to understand, man. Savage Title, clean title makes money. You know, there's gonna be somebody that's wanna buy Savage Title. There's gonna be somebody that wanna buy clean title. Not everybody gives a damn about Savage Titles, man. But, uh, so right now we're looking at the Ford Fusion, right? No, 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 no. This is a Ford Focus, man. I'm messing up, guys. So this car, as you guys can see, the first thing I did was look around the car, look outside the car, man. And, and, I'm, and I'm making this video, man. I'm trying to teach you young guys out there, man. You know, my young, my young hustle is out there, man. You got to hustle, man. But uh, if you look at the outside, the outside looks good. The outside looks great. You know, this car, I'll pay $1,000 for this car. It's good. I can sell this car for $2,500. You know, I paid $1,000 for this. But you got to look at the outside of the car, man. It's a very, it looks very great on the outside. Now, uh, I turn the car on. Try, I put the AC on, try to see how, how good the AC is. So let me check the trunk and see uh, the trunk. I mean, you guys can see it was hit in the front right here. It was, it was a little bit hit in the front. It wasn't hit that much. Uh, there wasn't a lot of damage in it. This right here, uh, man, when I say, the only thing about this, man, is uh, they just got to push this in right here. You have to push in the fender. When you push in the fender, I, I can do that by myself. All I need to do is unscrew, unscrew this. When you push in the fender, we're going to try to align the hood. So when you try to align the hood, I don't need to change this right here. As I, as you guys can see, man, this car is a quick flip, man. Like, this is not like a... This car is a quick flip, man. I'm, I'm serious, man. This car is a quick flip. It's not something that I'm trying to, you know... Is it going to be a quick flip? But... So guys, uh, let me go into the car real quick. Let me go into the car, man. Uh, you guys can see, man. This is a lovely car, man. It's so hot outside. Okay. Oh my God. Like, guys, the, when I'm shifting this uh, drive and all this stuff, it's very beautiful, man. Like, yo, it, it's very beautiful. This is one of the best cars that I've checked out today. And it's a savage title, bro. Savage title, bro see okay i'm checking out the brakes it has eighty-two thousand miles man you can't even sell this for three thousand dollars bro eighty-two thousand dollars no eighty-two thousand miles man the brakes is very good okay so let me turn off the engine i've heard the engine let me rev the Okay, the engine sounds good. The engine sounds good. So let me go check the engine real quick, man. I, I can tell this is a good car, man. Uh, it doesn't, you know, as I said, the more you're doing this uh, business, the more you're doing, you know, I told you guys I used to work at the auction, so you already know. But uh, the more you check, the more you are uh, looking at these cars, man, the better you get at it, man, you know. This is talent, you know, you know, you know, let me tell you, everybody in life has a talent. Some people talent is to sleep. You know, I wish I have talent like that, you know, and I'm very serious. Everybody in life, don't ever feel like you're useless, man, because everybody has a talent. So, uh, I just have a thing I can put. Okay, let me put this in here. Oh my God. Okay, so uh, let me check the oil. The oil looks very, very good, man. The oil is very good. So let me check the, okay. The transmission fluid is really good. Let me close that. Okay, it's closed. What else do I look? Uh, the coolant, the radiator coolant. Look, yeah, look at that. It's very, it's still a lot of it. So this car look well maintained. The only thing you can see, this right here is kind of pushed like that. Uh, 
I might fix it, I might sell it like that and sell it as it is and tell them, okay, hey, look, this is a savage car. This is what is wrong with it. It drives good, it's good car. If you want a very, uh, really, really good car that it can be on the road pass inspection and get you point A to point B to make money, I can, get, I can sell you this for $2,500. And you can't beat that price, man. You cannot beat that price. You have to give people reasons to buy cars. You know, when you're selling cars, you have to give people reasons to buy a car. You know, most times you have to think for other people. That's how you do business. You have to be a great thinker in business, man. But yeah, guys, uh, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I have other cars to go check out today, man. I have a lot of cars to go check out. I love you guys, man. I just wanted to show you a couple of cars and how I check a couple of cars. And I'm going to catch you guys, man. If you're new to my channel, subscribe to this channel right now. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to turn your notification button on, man. Let's get it, man. Grind to shine.